Hey guys, B1 Studios here with an interesting Element 3D tutorial today. And we're going to learn how to do a crumpling text transition right inside of Element 3D. So this was actually an effect that I came up with for our final episode of Indian TV. And it's basically just taking text from one word to the next and scrunching it in and then coming out with a different word. So if we just take a look at the example that I have here, which is actually what was premiered on the episode, you'll see that it actually transitions from word to word by crumpling the text in. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So I have already opened up After Effects here and we can take a look at what we're about to create. We actually have crumpled text and as I scrub back and forth, you'll notice that it transitions quite smoothly from one text box into the other through this scrunching up transition. So let's take a look at how we're going to achieve this. So we'll start off with a new composition. I'll name it Crumple and we'll hit OK. And let's make a new solid. Well, actually two new solids. Our first one we'll name E3D1, and our second one, E3D2, so that we have actually two layers of Element 3D. Now the next thing we're gonna need is the text, so I'll select the text tool and go ahead and type crumple. and we'll go ahead and drag that to the center. And we'll make another text box that says text. And we'll go ahead and drag that one into the center as well. So we actually don't need these texts, we just need the text layers so we can map them to the Element 3D layers. So all I'm going to do now is hide them by clicking on the little eye tool. And now let's jump into Element 3D by going to Effects and Presets, typing in Element, and dragging that right into my effect controls. And we'll do the same thing for our second element layer. Now in our element layer, we're going to go to custom layers, custom text and masks, and select our first text box, which was crumple. And we'll go into our second layer, same thing, custom layers, custom text and masks, and we'll select our second text box, which said text. So now, if we go into our scene setup in Element 3D and click on the extrude button, there we go. We have our extruded text just like that. Pretty simple. And now what we're gonna do is apply a bevel. Now you can obviously go in and customize your own bevels using Element 3D's bevel editor but for the sake of time right now, I'm going to choose a preset from the bevels folder, physical, and we're gonna to wanna to choose a pretty thick one to get sort of the crumpled look. So here's a good one. It's called double down, and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag that right onto my text, and voila, we already have some nice looking 3D text. Now you can go ahead and make it thicker if you want it to look more like a spherical scrunched up ball, but the thickness of this is perfectly fine. So we'll hit OK and there's our 3D text. Now let's go into our second element layer and do the exact same thing. Scene setup, extrude, and apply the exact same bevel that we did just now, which was double down. and. Now we have the exact same bevel applied to our second element layer. So as you can see, they're on top of each other right now. So 
What we're actually going to do is take our first element layer and solo it by pressing the little circle button right next to the eye. And so now we're only looking at the crumple layer. Now, what I'm interested in doing is applying particle looks. So under group one, go to particle look, and here we have our multi-object options. If I just drop that down, click enable multi-object by clicking the little box there. Now we have a whole bunch of new options that we can access to affect each individual letter in the word crumple. And if we take the rotation random right here and maybe turn it up, you'll notice that every letter has its own random 3D rotation. I'm just going to undo that for a moment. And what I'm going to do now is actually put a keyframe on rotation random at zero degrees. And maybe we'll go to two seconds and set the rotation random to 180 degrees. So now we have some nice random rotation going on there. All right, now that our rotation random is set, we're going to go to our next effect, which is displacement. Now this sets how far apart or how close together our individual letters are. So maybe you can see where I'm going with this. If you bring it really close in, you'll notice that it actually forms just a scrunched up mass of letters. So here's what we're gonna do. We'll keyframe the displace at zero, go to two seconds, and set our displace value to negative one. And boom, now we have a scrunched up ball of letters. And if I just scrub through this, you see they're coming together to form a scrunched up ball. And if I go backwards, they'll come back out again. That's really the major premise of this effect. Now, all we really have to do now is do the opposite for our second text layer, which was the E3D2. So what I'm going to do now is take E3D1 and cut it right to where my keyframes end, which would be exactly two seconds. Maybe I'll zoom in and take a look, make sure that I'm exactly on two seconds. Zoom back out and we'll take our second element layer and cut it to the exact same spot except from the front. So I'll just zoom in and get a nice snug fit. We'll unsolo the element 3D first layer so that now we can see both layers. And now when I scrub from before two seconds to after two seconds, you'll notice it transitions from my first layer to my second layer. Now all that's left to do is do the exact same process we just did for our first layer, just in reverse. So what I'm going to do now is jump right into my second element 3D layer. And we'll go to group one, particle look, multi-object, enable multi-object, and we're going to do this time in reverse of what we did just now. So now let's go ahead and set our rotation random to 180 degrees, our displacement to negative one, and we'll get the same scrunching as before. Keyframe both of these, go to four seconds, and we'll set everything back to zero. So now we have our text coming back out of the scrunch. So we have our crumple, which is crumpling in, and our text, which is uncrumpling back out. Now, if I RAM preview this, you'll notice, okay, so maybe doing it over the span of two seconds was probably 
a little bit too slow and you can kind of notice when it changes from crumple to text. But here's the trick. Just take your first two keyframes and move them into maybe 1.5 seconds so the transition is super fast and we'll take our last two keyframes and move them to 2.5 seconds ish. I'm just eyeballing here. But if we render that out, you'll notice that it's practically indistinguishable where the text changes from crumple to text because the transition is happening so quickly. So now we have our crumpling text transition and it is nice and smooth and looking absolutely wonderful. So that's about all I've got. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it. And I will catch you guys next time.